Hi, welcome to another Talking Hands video. On this one, I want to show how to disassemble a Springfield 911 magazine. Some people want to be able to clean inside of it and everything like that, which is always a good idea to maintain your magazines. The majority of your malfunctions in semi-auto handguns, or actually even handguns and rifles, originate from the magazine. So it's definitely a good thing to maintain it. Uh, now for these flush fit magazines that come with the Springfield 911, it looks like it's kind of welded on here because normally you will access the magazine from the bottom base plate. You know, so there's usually there's some way to slide it off, then you can take the spring out and take the follower out. But in this case, you can't. This piece is fixed here, so so obviously you can't go that way. So you know, how do you take this apart? It's actually a little bit complicated, and you actually need a few tools to do it. Uh, any kind of small things that can fit into these little witness holes, you, I would I would say use two of them just in case. And then something blunt, you can use like an unsharpened pencil or something like that that would that would fit inside here that you can use to push you know the follower and the spring down. Those are the, the tools that you would need. So basically what you would need to do is push the follower down maybe at least like halfway like you don't have to push it all the way down but push it enough to where where you can capture the spring like don't capture the the uh the follower itself just put it through put this through with the witness hole all the way through to the other side where you see spring not not the actual follower so the follower is is actually kind of free right now i'm not sure if this is down low enough it might not be uh let's see no i don't think so let me, let me try that again. It is kind of a trial and error thing. Because sometimes, you know, it, it won't capture the, the top spring and then it'll, it'll let it rise up too much. Okay. So you'll know you got it right when you have it to where you see how the follower stops with a good amount of space down there. You see how it before it rolls up almost all the way to the top. Now it's pretty far down there, so that's good. So now take your second tool and basically try to bring that follower up. Because it should be free from the spring now. So now this thing doesn't have any spring tension behind it. So what you want to do is actually try to get it to, to tilt backwards. Like you want the back part here, you know, towards the flat part of the magazine to kind of tilt into the magazine. And this front part to kind of tilt forward. You do have to mess with it a little bit to get it, get it just right. Push that back, pull this forward. There we go. Okay. So, it should come out just like that. It does take a little bit of, um, I would say try to push more in the back um, than I was doing in the beginning. And that, until it tilts all the way vertical, then, then it, it should be pretty easy to come out. Uh, just kind of be careful not to bend any of these too much to where it stays permanently bent. It, it can flex a little bit without, without being permanently deformed, so you don't worry too much about that. Uh, but just don't overdo it So once you've gotten to this point You have you can see the spring there without the follower on top of it Go ahead and use this tool again just so that you don't Have the spring just flying out at you and I, I wouldn't really want to put my thumb there either Because that spring could pop up and I don't know if that that might hurt and I haven't tried it get a good grip on this thing that you're using to push it and also you know, hold on to the, the magazine as well. If you can put it against the table or even put it up against your chest, you know, to keep it from uh, flying out, that will that'll work too. So I'm using the table, I'm just putting it up against there while I'm holding on to this. And then pull out pull out the, the screwdriver that's holding the spring and then just kind of slowly let that spring come out. Now that spring should come out and just kind of keep in mind how the spring was. You see how this one has the loop, so that's the top, and the, the curved side of the loop 
is towards the front uh, the curved side of the magazine right so don't put it like this and don't put it upside down um well the small loop because the bottom has is, is i guess you can count this as a loop too but it's but you see how this one is actually a smaller loop than the rest of it so it's kind of like a special loop that they made so that tells you that that's the top so at this point the magazine's empty that's as much as you can take it apart uh, you can go ahead and clean inside of there, maybe put like a, a small amount of oil, not a lot, because obviously you put a lot of oil, it, it's going to collect a lot of dust, but just a little bit too, so that the uh, the spring can move freely. Once you've done that, go ahead and just put it back together. Again, the small loop on top with the curved side towards the front of the magazine. And just put it just like that. And basically, you're going to have to try to simulate the situation we had before and so you push this in as much as you can and then use that use your your pencil or whatever it is that you were using to push that down I would use the table again so that this doesn't fly out you should get it down to a good enough level go ahead and use that tool that you were using before go through the witness hole again again through the um through all the way to the other side see because the witness holes line up so you can push it all the way through and now it's holding the spring down there again and then with the follower put it in this the, the same way that you took it out kind of put the back in first and then you're going to angle it up like that and then just kind of wiggle it in there until it's underneath there now take your other tool and you can try to lift the back of the follower up. You saw what I did there? So, so let's go back and let me do it again so you can see it. So here it is again. I took the follower back out. So you want to put the back end of it, which is this flat part, in first. And just put it until it's kind of vertical so that this kind of would be able to slide in there. And then once that's up underneath there, you take your other tool and put it here and just kind of tilt the magazine until it's flush. So from here, after you've gotten the magazine follower back in and it's it's you know back to being flat like this, again, use your pencil or whatever it is that you're using to push down the follower. And same thing with when you're releasing the spring. So just kind of push it down until you meet the spring resistance and just hold it there and go ahead and take out take out your tool that's holding the spring and then you can let slowly let it out just so that it doesn't you know pop out you know that could damage the follower or like the the feeding lips here so after you've done that you can go ahead and just you know push it down a few times let it out make sure that this the follower stays flat so that you know it's up against the the that little loop inside the spring correctly so basically that's it your your magazine is now put back together uh, and you know after you clean and everything like that another user did ask for this and I didn't want to try to explain it because it's kind of hard to explain so I hope this video is informative and in how to you know disassemble and reassemble these magazines for for maintenance and cleaning if this was helpful for you you know definitely give me give me some help and like the video post some comments on there about what you want I, I read all the comments and I try to reply to all of them so you know definitely um, Give me some feedback on what you want me to cover. Uh, give me a like and subscribe if you like this channel. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.